The football nation with the richest history of them all, no one has won more World Cups and scored more goals at the finals than Brazil. After the devastation of losing the title to Uruguay on home soil in 1950, the Samba Stars finally got the hands on the Jules Rimet Trophy in Sweden in 1958, when a 17-year-old Pelé announced himself on the world stage. Brazil lifted the title again in 1962, thanks to the bandy-legged Garincha. And in 1970, the universe aligned to create the greatest national team ever. Pelé, Revelino, Jarzino and Jerzen entranced and dazzled on the way to footballing perfection. After many barren years, it took the emergence of Romario to guide them to victory in the USA in 1994. The diminutive genius struck five goals to secure Brazil's fourth World Cup. And when a new global star emerged four years later, it looked certain that he would lead the team to a fifth trophy. As it was, Ronaldo's pre-final illness left Brazil dazed and allowed France and Zinedine Zidane to stroll to victory in Paris. Ronaldo was not to be denied, however, and in 2002 he fired eight goals, including two goals in the final, to cement his status as one of the greatest ever players. Shame about the haircut, though. 2006 and 2010 meant quarter-final disappointment. And now the tournament returns to Brazil 64 years after the Maracazano defeat to Uruguay. Luckily, there's a new hero that the entire country can get behind, Neymar. <laughs>